Hi there, Hillary here for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. If you've been following along with the build series, you probably know that I've already added cleanup crew to my new tank, but what I didn't tell you about adding was the approximately 20,000 individuals to this tank, and that is what this video is going to be all about. Now, you might be asking, how are you adding 20,000 individuals to a tank? Oh wait, maybe it's bacteria. Well, that's a good guess, but we've already done that. What I added to this tank is 18,000 copepods. Okay, well, maybe a little more because I added an extra bottle, but I went ahead and added the reef nutrition copepods to my tank. A little bit of history with me and reef nutrition. In the very beginning, when I first started out as a hobbyist, I used to use the tigger pods to help make sure my mandarin was fat and healthy and happy. I've always loved feeding copepods to my tank because they're a great way to enrich your fish's lives and help to mimic some of the natural feeding behaviors that they would experience out in the wild. Now, in addition to feeding those tigger pods to my mandarins, I've also used products like their Oyster Feast when I worked at a local fish store to help bring corals back to life. Now, if you have been to any of the trade shows recently, you may have actually seen me working at the Reef Nutrition booth. And while you might be thinking this is a biased video, perhaps it is, but I've been a fan of this line of products since before I ever worked in the hobby. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I put in my tank and a little bit about it and why I've added it. So let's start out with the why. Copepods are a great addition to any cleanup crew. Unlike some of the snails and the crabs that you've already got in your tank, they are going to help break down the detritus on an even smaller level. You think crabs can only fit in such tiny spaces, well copepods can fit into even smaller spaces. And they're going to go ahead and help to break down some of those nutrients and that detritus to allow you to get it out of the system. In addition to being a great member to the cleanup crew, they're also going to help break down and get rid of some of the algae that you might have in your tank that you don't want. Now, obviously they might not be your first method of defense for an outbreak, but they're good to have on hand to help keep things in line. In addition to that, they are great for the biodiversity, which is something we should all be wanting to add and increase in our tanks. The more biodiverse, the better of a habitat it is, and the more like it would be out in the ocean. Now, my last and favorite reason for adding the copepods to this tank is as for a source of food. I've mentioned in the past some of the fish that I want and several of them eat copepods. So by going ahead and putting them in the tank now, it's gonna give those copepods a chance to get established in my system and start reproducing and establishing a large population so that when I add my fish to the system, there's gonna be an ample supply for them to eat. I mentioned enrichment a second ago, it's also gonna provide a source of enrichment for my fish that I have or that I'm going to put in this tank. So those are my reasons for why I'm adding them, but let's talk a little bit about what I'm adding. Now, Reef Nutrition has two different types of copepods. They have the Apocyclops panamensis and the Tigriopus californicus, or you might know them as the apex pods and the tigger pods. Now, copepods are different sizes and different shapes and different colors. Um, there's a bunch of different species of them that exist out in the world, but these are just two of them. Now, the apex pods are a much smaller species, while the tigger pods are a significantly larger and brighter colored species of copepods. Now, when I recommend these to people and talk about putting them in the tanks, if I am trying to establish a population of copepods in an existing tank, I would recommend for you to try the apex pods. But if you're looking for a treat, something to help 
fatten up your mandarin, I would recommend the Tigger Pods, but there's nothing to say that you can't have both in your tank. And so that is what I did. Now I've got two different types that I put in the tank and each bottle, so each of these six ounce bottles is approximately 3000 individual copepods in each bottle. Now, Reef Nutrition recommends that you add one bottle per 25 gallons of tank. Now this tank and system is a total of 115 gallons. So typically I would go with four bottles, but since you can have a little extra and it not be that big of a deal, I went with six bottles in my tank. Having an extra bottle of copepods is not gonna cause any harm. It probably will help to speed things up. So that's what I went ahead and did. Now let's talk about how I added them to the tank. When you purchase products or the live foods from Reef Nutrition, they tell you how to add them to your tank. Now, my way of adding them might be slightly different than your method if you've got an established tank at home, but I'm gonna tell you how I did it and then I'll tell you how you should do it. So go ahead, make sure that those bottles are up to room temperature for about two hours, pause the pumps, and then just dump the whole bottle in. Now, if you are doing it at home, you might wanna do this. Again, bring those bottles up to room temperature for two hours before. Now, the night that you're gonna feed them and add them to the tank, go ahead and feed your whole tank, maybe feed a little bit heavy if you'd like. Then once the lights are out, go ahead and put your pumps on feed mode or turn them off, set a timer for yourself so you don't forget to turn them back on. And once the pumps are off and the lights are off, go ahead and just dump that whole bottle in your system. Now, you can put them in your main display or you can put them in your refugium if you have one, or if you've got an area with live rocks in your sump, you could add them there as well. Um, if you do put them in the sump, eventually they will get distributed into your entire system. Now, the reason that I recommend doing it at night is because after the fish have been fed, the lights are off, um, the pumps are paused, it gives the copepods a chance to get into your system, get into the rock work and the substrate and hunker down before they start getting eaten by the fish. The fishes have already been fed, so they're not looking for another source of food and they have a higher chance of getting established in your system. All right, that's how to add them to the tank, but where can you buy them? So you may have seen Reef Nutrition for sale at your local fish store, but a lot of times, at least in my experience, they only have one or two products. And the Reef Nutrition line is a massive amount of products. And that is where saltwateraquarium.com comes in. If you spend a certain amount on saltwateraquarium.com, usually it's the equivalent of two different Reef Nutrition products, they will usually make the shipping for that free. And you can get almost the whole line of reef nutrition products on saltwateraquarium.com. That is anything from the Fido Feast to the Tiger Pods, maybe the Mysis Feast, and of course the TDO. So I would definitely recommend ordering your reef nutrition from saltwateraquarium.com. Now, I mentioned that I've used a bunch of the Reef Nutrition products in the past and I highly recommend them. So, if you have enjoyed this video and you would like to see more about the Reef Nutrition line, please leave a comment, send me a message, let me know that you would like to see more and we'll see what we can do. Okay, this has been Hillary for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.